A 4 kilogram lamp is hung using three cables as shown. Find the tension in each cable. Let's first draw a force diagram for the lamp. The lamp is staying at rest, so the acceleration is zero. And there is the mg, 40 newtons acting on the lamp, and the lamp is touching T2, going up. That means uh, the upward force and downward force, they must be equal, so T2 must equal to 40 newtons. But we still need to find T1 and T3. This means we need to draw a force diagram that includes T1 and T3. We need to draw a force diagram for something that T1 and T3 are touching. So what do you think I have to draw a force diagram for? I have to draw a force diagram for the junction point. So T1 and T3 are both touching it. Now, the junction point has no mass, therefore there is no mg for the junction point. The junction point is touching the three cables, so we have T1, T2 going down. Of course, now we know T2 is 40 newtons, and uh, we have T3. Because this scenario happens to be symmetric left and right, that means uh, T1 and T3, they must be equal. So I'm just going to say this uh, is T1. That way I have fewer unknown involved. And we just have one unknown T1 to find. This is a two-dimensional problem. So we have to look at one dimension at a time. And these slanted forces, we have to find components for them. To find the components, we have to draw these uh, rectangles. So this rectangle here, those are the components for T1. And then the same rectangle on this side because it's symmetric. So I have these two components for T3, which is the same as T1. For the junction point, we have net force equals to MA. The junction point has no mass, and it also has no acceleration. So either one is going to make our net force zero. Okay. In the x direction, the left and right are equal. We already know the left and right, they are symmetric. So this left and right being equal is not going to give us any new information. We need the y direction. The up and down are equal. So let's see. The upward component is opposite to the 37 degrees. So the upward component is T1 times sine 37 degrees. And then the other side, of course, it's going to be exactly the same. So this is also T1 times sine 37 degrees. So the net force being zero in the y direction means the upward forces added together has to equal to the downward force. So T1 sine 37 degrees plus T1 sine 37 degrees should equal to 40. And sine 37 degrees is 0.6. So it's 0.6 T1 plus 0.6 T1. So it's 1.2 times T1 equals to 40. And this will give us T1 equals to 40 divided by 1.2, which gives us 33.3 newtons. So T1 and T3, they are both 33.3 newtons. And T2 is 40 newtons. In this problem, we did not need to write the net torque equals to zero because we could find one tension using the lamp's force diagram. So by the time we look at the junction point, we only had two unknowns, T1 and T3, left. Being a two-dimensional case, the net force equals to zero actually gives us two equations for our two unknowns, one in the x direction and one in the y direction. In this particular case, due to the symmetry left and right, the x direction just tells us that the T1 and T3 are equal. Anyway, we did not need to write any torque equation. 
also because the most obvious choice for a pretend fulcrum is at the junction point, and all three forces go through the junction point. So none of these tensions produce any torque. This means the clockwise torque equals to the counterclockwise torque just gives us 0 equals to 0. It is certainly correct, but it does not provide us with any helpful information.